Wait, what? Maybe I play for the win now? What? <laughs> now I go for the win, but it's still gonna be a draw. Okay, this is pretty funny, actually. Checkmate! Checkmate! Checkmate, you guys! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, so bad. I'm gonna play the Karo Khan against Buddy. Um, I wanna play something that I don't normally play that he might be a little bit unfamiliar with. Okay, he wants to play e5. Okay, I mean, I'm pretty happy to play this. Kinda of surprised that he's going into this, actually. I guess I'll play here in 97, 97, of course. Go here, 97 next move, of course. Plays knight a3, which is reasonable. Um, now I can play g5 here. I think I'm just gonna go g5. There are all these orders with knight a3, knight c2, which is quite decent. I go here. Um, actually, I was supposed to play c5 there, I think. But he could be watching the stream, so I'm actually not gonna talk much during this game. Now I can obviously take the pawn. I don't really like it, but I think it makes sense. I think I'll go here and just take. Obviously, trade pawns here. But I think even Bishop G7 is pretty decent. I could have also taken first on D4, maybe, but. Plays bishop e3. Interesting choice. Question is, do I take or not? Now, my instinct is that I should take. Because I have knight e5 and knight c6. Because knight d4 doesn't really do a whole lot. And it takes with a pawn as expected. Now, I can always castle here. Rook c8 looks like a decent move, too. I'm just going to go... I can also castle queen side. But my instinct is that rook c8 must be the right move here to put pressure on the uh, c file. Now, b2 is also hanging. I guess I'll take with a pawn. It does take. Could have taken with a knight too, but I think my knight belongs on f5 here. It was knight d3, I expected that. I think I just go here. I hit the bishop, I hit the knight. Okay, I guess I just castle. I feel like I'm doing okay here, although I could be missing something. I guess b2 is weak as well. It's also getting low on time. King h7 seems like a pretty reasonable move. So I think I'm just gonna do it, just guard everything, just be, to be safe, dodge knight of four tricks. 
I think I may be slightly better potentially, although it's still very, very unclear. Good thing is he's low on time and the position is not clear to play at all for either side. So he does go b3, which does give me some rook c6 ideas here, maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna go h5 and push h6, maybe. So he also doesn't have rook c1 now. I also stopped g4 here, very important. Plays rookie one, I expected that. And this must be the right move. He goes queen d1, now that's a little bit surprising. I feel like I should be a little bit better here, but I still have to be precise. I mean, five is a move. Hmm, it's actually not easy to prove. I'm gonna go here. I'm hitting the A pawn. My rook is well placed, my bishop is well placed. If knight d4, I'd rook d3, which is the whole point. Let's go here, I guess. I think I'm close to winning. Winning maybe is too strong, actually. Wait, okay, so let's see. Hmm. He plays rookie two, so he actually dodges. Go here. There's the rook. We got the dub. Big dub. Big dub, you guys. Big dub. <laughs> Hamburger emote, exactly, yeah. I live in hamburger, man. Yeah, I mean, isn't that, that's, uh, are alcoholic drinks allowed while playing OTP? Not really, no. I mean, of course, it depends, depends where you're playing, obviously. But yeah, why is the Grand Prix so long? I mean, there are many formats they could have come up with, and this is just the format they have. I mean, I like the other format better, where it was just straight up, straight up knockout. Like, you come and play, and that's that. Am I paying for the hotel? No, my room is covered. The room for my trainer is not covered, so of course, I'll, I'll be covering that. But, uh, it's not, not really that big of a deal, of course, um... Actually, I mean, I'll get I'll get my hotel points and everything, so it's all good. It's all good. Am I worried about getting impatient with such a slow time control? Not really. Uh, as I said, the only thing that I have to not do is when I get it. One thing that people who've watched my stream a lot will notice is that when I get when I get um, in some of these positions, I'm just like I see a move and I'm like, it's not the right move. I say it doesn't feel right, but I'm gonna play it anyway. That's the only thing that I have to avoid um, very specifically is that like. When I get in position, it's like, I don't just play the move anyway. Because uh, in classical, if you do that, you could get punished for making imprecise moves. That's actually the one thing I would say. We had this position earlier in this event. In fact, I think I've had this like twice or two or three times already, which is kind of nuts. Don't give stuff away. Well, that's not giving stuff away. That's on me to not, to not do that. <laughs> I mean, that's not giving away anything. Okay, takes with a knight. Huh. Now, I really don't want to trade. Um, huh. I don't want to trade, but at the same time, it's very weird. Okay, whatever, I'm just going to trade. I don't know if this is right, but it looks like a, it looks like a line at least. Probably E4, Knight E5 or something. See what he does. Go here, of course. I'll go here to go a5 now. Very weird position. This is what I was calculating at the start of this whole line. Was this a5? Plays knight d7. That's a reasonable move. First of all, I can play a6. Secondly, I can also go b4 here. A6 and B4 is kind of weirdly interesting. 
B4 is all... Oh, man. The, the, see, in this position where it's like, I know there are multiple options. In a classical game, I can think for a long time here. I'm just going to do it. It's probably not right. Let's go B4. B and sure enough, right on Q, what do I say? It's probably not right. Like, I'm literally, like, self-prophesizing here. So I'm going to go B5 and create the square. I'm going to go from there. Takes, I think I have bishop a3 and bishop b7. So I go here. I can take and play queen d3 and go from there. I mean, once I get the knight to d5, I don't really see how bad this can be. So I go queen d3. He takes, it's knight b3, I go knight d5, of course. So I think he has to take. And then I get my jumbo pony. It's not like this is winning or anything, but I have a jumbo. He's also got a jumbo pony too, though. So we both have po these ponies. But... Ah... Uh, I thought that was a blunder on first glance, but it's actually not. So I go here, here, g3, queen, h3, knight, h7, king, f8, wow. That looked like a blunder, but I guess it's just not. I do have f4. I feel like I'm, I feel like I have something here, but again, it's just a tough position to play. I guess I'm just going to go here. There was something better than rook d1, but I just, I couldn't find it. Bishop g4, that also looks kind of strange. And I can obviously go three. I mean, the question is, do I want to go after or do I just trade? Okay, I'm thinking too long. I'm trying to be too precise in this game. Let's see, one night before... Yeah, I'm thinking way too long in this game. I don't really know why. Go here. Yeah, I'm thinking too long. <laughs> Insane. I just need to move quicker. I'm just too slow in this game. And it's not, it's not, this is just not how I'm supposed to be playing. This is way too slow. That's a good move, too. I mean, I guess I have to go here and trade. Like, this is not what I wanted to do. But because I'm down on time, of course, I, I, I get punished for that. And bishop a3 probably also wasn't right. I probably should have sidestep the king h1 or something. Of course, my opponent is, of course, Gawain is just squandering his whole time advantage here for no good reason. That's actually a weird move. I didn't expect that. I mean, it's to be very careful because I also have g3 to attack the queen. Like, Gawain threw away his time advantage, and now I think it's going to be very hard for him not to lose this game. I go here. There's no no danger here. That's a good move. Oh, rook a1, he has rook a6. Ah, I missed that. Wait, but I have knight c7. Wait a second. Okay, wait. Okay, no panic here. Queen a3 is not right. Queen a3, maybe. That was a mistake by me. I just have to move. Cause I still have knight c7. I'm just gonna go g3 here. Of course not a good move either. So poor by me. I just threw this away. Now I'm going to be lucky to make a draw. Okay, 
he tries with that and then I gotta move. Yeah, I think, I mean, I have to just try to make a draw here. I also put the king on the wrong square as well. I mean, that's a mistake too. I don't know why I did that. Why am I? Wait, why am I thinking so long? Jeez. I think I still am gonna draw this. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I'm still gonna draw this very. Wait, what? Maybe I play for the win now, what? <laughs> now I go for the win, but it's still gonna be a draw. Okay, this is pretty funny actually. Checkmate, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So bad. So, so bad. So, so bad. But, ah, uh, that's life. I feel bad for Gawain. He should not have lost that game. Terrible game. Terrible, terrible game. Did I miss a fork that was winning, too? I don't think I had a fork that was winning. Poor but efficient? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I missed a fork? No, I don't, I don't think I missed a fork anywhere. No, there was no knight c3, you guys. Um, no, I was pinned. I was pinned. I'm pinned here. No, no, I'm pinned, you guys. It doesn't work. I'm pinned. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Very funny, you guys. Very funny. All right. Very funny. We move on to move number 26. Yeah. Or game number six, sorry, I should say. Very funny. Yeah, that was very poor. I mean, I play... I, queen g3 instead of bishop takes g4. What? I don't know what you're saying, but okay. Play e4. A little confused. Return of the comeback is real. Something like that, yeah. He's going to play this. Okay. Uh, actually, why did I play e5? This isn't the line that I normally play. Okay. I'm going to do something weird here. I'm going to play something very unusual. This isn't what I normally play, by the way, but. Let's go here. I mean, I have C4 at some point. Let's see what he does here. I mean, he's looking for some cheese with Knight F4 and Bishop H3, but I don't. I go knight f6, okay, so I guess I just go here. Now I can play h3, I mean, knight f1, knight g3, I mean, it's just very slow. Why am I in Berlin? I'm playing a chess tournament here, you guys. 
It's a very flat position, but it's maybe some slight edge for white. Okay, now I can play knight g3. Rook a8 is actually kind of weird. I thought I should have put the other rook there. Question is, how do I take advantage? I can play h3. Seems like the right move. Ah, he's got bishop f5. I forgot he could do that one. That's why I should have gone knight g3 first. Still should be okay, though. Let's take and go here. Maybe I actually wait. Maybe I d5 there. I think d5 was good, so I could take and play knight g3. Played the wrong order, but I still should be fine. Very symmetrical position, but I mean, I'm probably very slightly better. I also really like how how basic this position is too. I'm playing both. Yeah, I will be playing both title Tuesdays. At least that's the plan. I mean, we'll see if I actually do, but that is the plan. It's also kind of almost like a Petrov as well, which is kind of weird too. I don't like queen d5 at all. I think I just go b3 and c4. Goes b5, okay. I don't like the way Bortnik is playing this. I think I just go here. I mean, if I get c4 and I don't really like this position for black. It's probably okay objectively, but it feels kind of on the edge. Okay, this should be 395, trade c4. Still should be good for me. It's 95, I just trade, go c4, takes, takes. Queen d7, d5, I mean, that looks better for me. Maybe not winning or anything, but it looks looks pleasant. Looks pleasant. If I was playing Magnus, would I like this position? I mean, I think it's just a small advantage for white, no real risk. So I probably would like it. That doesn't mean Magnus wouldn't defend it well, but I, I, I'd be happy with this. And I think for a long time here, I think he's trying to, okay, he actually goes for it, interesting. So I go here, we trade. Kind of surprised by this, actually like very surprised. Very surprised that Bortnik went for this, because I don't actually think this is good for black. Magnus is not playing in Berlin, no. Okay. So now I have d5 and bishop c5. Like, it just feels a little bit iffy here. Okay, wait. So now I need to think. I can play rookie d1, but d5 looks right. I have bishop c5 and d6. I mean, this just doesn't look very pleasant. I also have knife f5 at some point. It goes e4. I don't think that's right either. Queen a3, c6. Queen a7. Yeah, I think there's just pl well, okay. Let's. I'm up a minute, so I actually should use my time here. But I, I mean, this looks like the right move. Just hit a seven. And if c six, I even have bishop c five to hit the rook. This just doesn't look good for black. Okay, please bishop e seven. I thought I could grab. Maybe I'm stupid, but I'm gonna try to grab. Okay, it just goes bishop d six. So he's actually trying to say that. He can just defend this, which I also don't agree with at all either. So, oh wait, queen d4 allows bishop e5. That would be a big mistake. Whoa, that would be a huge mistake, actually. Whoa, wait a second. <sighs> hmm. Knight f1 is playable too. But I feel like I should be better here. So I think I'm just gonna go here. The knight, if he takes, I just take, of course. This looks very good for me. I'm also trying to play this precisely, not play this poorly. I can take on f6 and go rook a d1, which just looks... Go here. And I go queen e3. I mean, I don't see how he's saving the material here. I think I'm just winning, unless I'm missing something very obvious. So I go here. Just takes a knight e4, and I just don't see it. All right, but now I just take with the queen, and now he has the problem with the knight. Okay, but this also doesn't look right. Queen g4. I should just be winning. Go here, I have c5. Actually, I probably shouldn't have played this, but I think it's just winning. It's got no time. And I go rook d7. So 
I go, okay, now I have all the time in the world. I think I'm just gonna go here. Go here in rookie seven. Wait, why did I do that actually? Wait, I shouldn't have done that actually. I can also just kind of wait though. Ah, did I blunder? Wait, I have to go here. Okay, now I go here and I get the two pawns. So I go here. And G4 is checkmate. There we go. There we get. Asapenko gets his chance. Wait, Asapenko's in the Grand Prix? Wait, so someone have a tweet on this so I can pull it up? Is there a tweet on this? Is there a tweet? You guys are talking about Asapenko? Um, Dean and Andre can are out? Okay, wait, let me pull up this tweet. What do we have? Okay, with this tweet, let me change the scene. Um... We have a tweet from Fide. It says, GMs Ding and Andre can are replaced by GMs Esapenko and Wojtaszek. The Fide president, upon consultation with the organizers and arbiters team, made a decision on the replacements. As per the event's regulation, the detailed announcement with adjusted pools will follow soon. Wow, okay. So that means one of the players that I've done preparation for is out. Um, okay, well, that's, that's lovely, but so be it, I guess. I know that's COVID or what, but anyway, fair enough. All right, let's get back to the game. That's actually a little bit annoying. Uh, there we go. Anyway, next round coming up. Poor Ding actually, but wait, does that mean Ding? I don't know what adjusted pools means. Does that mean they're changing the, the pools now? I guess Dubov can make it, but who knows? I mean, wow. Who knows? Kind of insane though. All right, next team should be coming up. We're on six out of six so far. Pretty good. Pretty good. Bornig always loses you in Title Tuesday. Well, I'm, I'm much more serious in Title Tuesday. Thank you, Kairua. For the nine months, thank you so much to Kairu. I appreciate it. Thank you again to the nearly 9,000 you guys are watching. Hope you're having a fantastic uh, Tuesday morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the big wide world. Hope all's good. Hope all is good. Hope all is great. All right. Um, Tuesday evening, yeah. I guess it's Tuesday evening here in Germany. So it could be Tuesday evening here. It's like Wednesday morning in Asia. But yeah, I saw 8.7K. Maybe maybe the number just went down, but... I see 8.7k. At any, any rate, who, who, who cares? Um, I use the same setup that I was in Poland. Yeah, I'm using the exact same setup. Um, I think I figured out where to put the mic, though, to make it sound be sound better. Um, but yeah. Sad about Ding I want to play? Well, the question about Ding... Wait, but if they're replaced by other players, that means Ding is out of the whole cycle, no? Wait. Wait a second. That means Ding is out of the whole cycle because you can't just replace him for one tournament. Oh my gosh, is Ding just... Oh, Ding is just out? Oh, that is so brutal. Ooh, by the way, I am going to go for broke now. I'm 6 out of 6, so I'm going to try to get 11 out of 11. I might fail, but I'm going to try to play on the edge chess now. Let's go back to the car. Oh, actually, wait. Okay, he plays this. Takes. But yeah, I'm going to try to play more on the edge now. Try to be a little bit more uh unstable shall we say queen c2 now that's a strange move which i don't really understand i'm gonna do something weird i'm gonna go f6 and e5 this probably is bad but i want to go for 11 out of 11 so let's let's see what he does here but yeah poor ding i mean that's just so rough i mean just that's just so brutal now he does go f4 but i think i can swing the knight maybe now the question is do i go bishop f5 whoops do i go bishop f5 or knight f5 i think i go here to force the bishops off. And now I think I just, just castle. I think I'm actually pretty happy with this position. And I assume I just go here, guard the bishop. I'm obviously trading. It's just a question of when do I trade. So he plays queen e2. I still don't have to trade, but it looks like the right trade. 
Also, I had knight f7 e5, which is maybe a little bit better, but whatever. Okay, I guess let's just go here. Of course, I go here, cut off the knight jump with the pawn. Yeah, poor Ding, though. Poor Ding. <sighs> I mean, I think COVID, out of, out of all the top players, Ding has been affected the most, without a doubt. That's just so brutal. By the way, this guy that I'm playing right now, I've actually played him a lot in the past, so it's, it's not an unknown opponent to me. I guess I'll go here, maybe B5. Yeah, I mean, Ding's, Ding's been absolutely sc screwed by it, basically. Also, why did I allow this? This wasn't my intention. Let's just go here. Unbelievable. Now I can obviously trade and go knight e4. I'm gonna do this and play knight e4. I don't know if this is actually right. Oh, he takes with the f pawn. I did not expect that actually. A little bit surprised. Okay, I'm gonna take this way to create the imbalance, of course. I guess I just go here, create the imbalance. I have rook d5. I also have just like queen c6, I guess. Oh, I have that 4e3 as well. I used to be very careful how he plays this. Okay, now the question is, is f4 good or not? f4, bishop h4, rook d7, f1. Don't actually, I'm not actually convinced, so I guess I'm just gonna go here. Yeah, I expected that. I'm gonna play uh, a6 allows d5 or does it? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. My instinct is that I should try to attack on the king's side with like g5. It's probably gonna go g3 or something. I guess I'll reroute the bishop. Okay, he plays rook c1, which is a strong attempt. And I should not have allowed this either, but... Hmm. C4 really that dangerous is the question. I don't think it is, but I'm also, I just realized way down on time. So I kind of have to do something fast. Yeah, this is not what I wanted. I misplayed this. Uh, let's look at here. This is not what I was intending to do at all. And now, I mean, now I just misplayed this. Uh, I just misplayed this. Okay, I just have to move though. I'm gonna go G5 next move for sure. So I go here. I have to. I have to. I'm just so slow. I didn't realize how low on time I am. Go here to trade. So I go. Uh, I guess I go here. I don't know if this is right. Play a5, I guess. This is a very weird position. Very, very strange position. I think both sides can win here. Go here. I could have traded two and gone queen c5, maybe. Very complex. Okay, let's just go for it. I'm gonna go all in here and attack. I don't know if this is good, but it feels right. Like Rook H8, King H7, weak pawns. I, my F pawn and E pawn are also very fast here, I think. That's what he does. My instinct is that I should be winning here. Just my instinct. Um my instinct I guess I'll go wait no I don't have to do anything wait I can also go e3 no I guess I'll just play uh... I know I'm better but I have to prove it let's go here I should have just gone rook g4 in e3 I don't know why I didn't go rook g4 very stupid have to 
move. Okay, but now my king, oh, my king doesn't get in. Well, I've also got just no time either. How am I doing this every game? Yeah, that's gonna be a draw if I'm lucky. And my mouse is getting a little bit stuck too. Oh, he, oh, he played that move. I'm, oh wait, but I'm still in the game. Maybe I'm still somehow in the game. So I have rook h1. Wait. I can also promote. Wait, 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 wait. I. Uh, oh, I could have taken the pawn too. Okay, I think... Okay, this is going to be a draw. Whew. Yikes. Big yikes. Yeah, it's just a draw. Jeez. Oof. Crazy. Crazy game. Okay. Wow. I, pro I was definitely winning if I played Rook G4. Um... Uh, I was definitely winning if I played Rook G4, I think. Let me turn on the lines. Oh, King, King F7's the win? Ah, so it's already very tricky to win here. Very tricky to win here. I was definitely winning here, though. King F... Yeah, I guess King F... Okay, hard with no time. I missed H4. H4 is winning where? Where, where, where was H4 winning? I mean, I was very lucky because I actually mouse slipped. Not mouse slipped, but I missed... Um, I basically did a semi-pre-move and I, I played a move that, I, that he didn't expect him to play. Like, right here? Yeah, I didn't expect Rook G3. I was sure he was going to go King G2, which is why I played Rook E1. And I'm so lucky that here... Oh, Rook H8. Of course, Rook H8, obviously. Rook H8, yes. Because I was sure he would go King G2 and then I was going to go Rook E1. Oh, but Rook, uh, Rook H8 is still winning. Uh, H4 check later to save the pawn. Wait, where? Okay. Oh, H4. Yeah, but is this... Is it actually winning? Maybe it is, but okay. I mean, whatever. I mean, it's... That was a very choppy game. I mean, but he could have—he should have won that game too. So like, I can't really be upset with that with that game because that could have gone either way.